It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the Hop Foundry Underground Ales and it's a can of their small batch Crystal Weizen coming in at 4.5% ABV. At the top there it says their festive edition. So I imagine this beer is just around at Christmas times. It's 4.5% ABV. Without further ado, let's get the can out into a glass and see what we get. Now little bit unusual uh, I've been on rate beer untapped all of these websites I don't usually do it it's just I couldn't find any information on the can regarding who brews this beer where is it where is it brewed uh, obviously Aldi do not have their own brewery um, it's a contract brew but it, it all it says on untapped rate beer and on the back of this can is Aldi Stores UK. So it's a bit of a mystery to me. If you guys know, you guys are really clever. If you guys know, if you guys can do a little bit of digging, put it in the comments box. Who brews this beer? Contract, of course, for Aldi. Uh, two finger white head, crystal visor. So yeah, it, it's the clarity is terrific. Very clear to look at. Good levels of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. It's got the classic Weizen aroma, but mixed with a a lager. Like I, it's weird. It's like a cross between a Weizen aroma of of banana and clove, and then mixed with a pilsner. So you're getting bitterness and kind of lemon in there. It smells okay though. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Whilst I was there, of course, I had a quick look just just on the front page of this untapped beer, uh, on the untapped page on my phone, and it's got a four out of five. That's a pretty high score. It's a pretty high score. Um, for me, I wanted to... I didn't want to mention it in the aroma. I wanted to taste the beer just to give my full thoughts on the beer, but there's an off flavor. There's a definite off flavor in this beer. It's it's a bit sulfury. It's a bit like rotting vegetables, only a bit. But I learned in my early days of judging and and, and reviewing beer here on YouTube that, that there's a few smells in beer that really shouldn't be there. It's a sign of a beer that's not in in very good order in very good condition and that is number one diacetyl that's my complete worst kind of flavor I, i'd rather taste taste cabbage water in a beer than than rotting cabbage water than than diacetyl um diacetyl's the worst that's a butterscotchy beer and um, that means either the beer's been cut off very early in the in the fermentation process or something's got in there uh, affected the yeast and yeah it's gone buttery and I just don't like it I just don't like diacetyl um, in terms of the the rotting vegetables now again that's an off flavor and um, that's something it's always something to do with the yeast because the yeast is alive um, but I'd like your comments in the comments box as to exactly if you're a clinical not a clinical but if you're if you're a little bit more experienced in brewing than I am, can you can you please explain in the comments box why I'm picking up this kind of cabbage watery sulfury taste? I know there's home brewers out there watching. And what can we do about once that happens to the beer? I suppose the beer's ruined. Advice, please. Being a little bit positive about the beer. Crystal Weizen, so it should be banana, clove, spice. There's like pinches of that, there's touches of that. Um, I would say it's more a pilsner 
most it's, it's drinking like a pills so there's a bitterness on the back end uh, there's some lemon flavors but I suppose once once you pick up an off flavor in the beer then it, it it just it just it just knocks you back a step it just it's it puts you on your back foot and it's almost impossible to to give a, a, a real kind of good score on the beer uh, with the with the state that this beer is in. I know it's from Aldi stores. I know it's a, a discount supermarket. But in past, we have had some pretty decent beers from Aldi, Lidl, your home bargains, that sort of thing. You can pick up some decent stuff. Uh, this is just unfortunate. Perhaps it's just the batch. But there's definite problems with this beer, this batch of beer. Let me know. I mean, you may have bought this beer maybe a month or two ago. Maybe it's just one big batch that went out to the whole of the Aldi stores. Um, who knows? It's not... Even if you paid... I think this was about £1.50 a can. Even if you paid £1.50 a can, um, I think you would be a little bit disgruntled uh, with this with this beer. Going to rate it. Uh, it's hoppy. That it's funny, isn't it? That taste then gave me more of a hoppy kind of. What am I thinking? Like a nettle, like a stinging nettle hop finish on the back end. Um, but you're still getting that kind of sulphur, that cabbage water taste. I like it, Neff. Well, I don't like it much at all, to be honest. It's a it's a very poor 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.